This video training, it's all about how do you create your unique selling point when it comes to conferencing. And this is part of module two called brand building. We often get asked to say, Obi, how did you go about building Vision Straight? What are some of the things that you did? Because it just we've been watching you building Vision Straight over the last couple of years, and you have been very consistent about it over the years. You, your spirit is increasing. You, you don't seem to be getting tired. Your passion seems to be just lighting up. Your enthusiasm, your energy just seems to be getting higher and higher and higher. How did you go about building Vision Straight to becoming one of the fastest growing brands within the IK industry? And you, you, you're global now. When you started, no one knew about you. And so years later, you are a global brand working with global companies. How do you go about that? And here's the thing. I will answer the question in two ways. The one question or the one way I'll answer it is you as an individual trying to establish yourself as a brand within the IK industry beyond just having an optometric practice. The other component of the answer would be then you are owning an optometric practice and you want to establish yourself as a brand and how do you go about making sure that you are having a unique selling point. And so I will answer this using the example of what we did through conferencing. And it's a story that I will share with you. I had no interest in opening up my optometry practice, but I had so much passion for optometric practices. And so one of the things that we wanted to do was the following. Vision Straight, as a company, wanted to ensure that the following takes place within the companies that it provides services for. And what I wanted to see, or what I saw not happen in optometric practices when I was still in practice, was excellency and efficiency was not something that was at the top of the list for optometric practices. Accountability and leadership was non-existent. You had the boss, and you had the employees. But there was no accountability, there was no le leadership. It was the boss and we saw that person as the boss and that was it. Great service delivery was not something that optometric practices focused on as a key component in terms of how they grow their optometric businesses. Uh, increased productivity and profit margins was something that was lacking. Uh, discipleship management and as well as organizational development and transformation. So because those were the things that I felt needed to be happening in optometric practices, when an opportunity presented itself for me to go to a conference, the only thing that I had on the stand is how am I going to introduce Vision Straight to the industry was exactly this. My exhibition stand was a big stand and it was, we invested quite a lot in having that stand. And all that people would see at that stand was a big background written exactly, it was exactly this. So I just simplified this banner or this banner, but this background here was the actual background of the stand that we had. And so at the conference, I knew that this is what I want people to connect with when they start thinking vision straight. You could be a young IK professional who's working in an optometry practice, but your interest is contact lenses, but you don't want to do, do it the way the people that we all look up to have always done it. You don't want to do it the way uh, you see it being done. You want to create your unique value proposition and have your unique selling point. With us, we knew that, okay, now that people can see this, what then will be next? And the result was then, let's give them a book that speaks directly into this. So you could be that person who's into contact lenses. It doesn't mean that you have to write a book, 
but you can have a YouTube channel that focuses on contact lenses. You can have your social media page as an individual that focuses on contact lenses. You could be interested in eyewear and be in a practice that specializes in optometric services, right? But your interest could lie in eyewear. You could build a brand for yourself in terms of eyewear, eyewear selection, um, establishing yourself as a thought leader, as opinion leader in terms of eyewear selection, frames as a whole, accessories and eyewear, brands and eyewear, eyewear selection for Caucasians, eyewear selections for children, eyewear selections for Africans and so forth. So if eyewear is what you're interested in or contact lenses is what you're interested in, when it comes to a conference, you could be working for someone in an optometric practice. There's nothing stopping you from having a banner like exactly this. Because the first conference, by the way, I had the big exhibition stand. But all other conferences post that first conference that I did, all I've had is a banner. You can simply have a banner. And on the banner, it can be a visual representation of your interest area or your unique value proposition that you have. Or you don't even need a banner. You can ask for a three by three shelf scheme package that they would offer at conferences and have a TV from your house. There, were, there, there was the Contact Lens Conference 2018 at, in Randburg, the International Conf Contact Lens Conference. I had a TV. I took my television screen from home and I put it there and I was launching the CPD platform and I did not have uh, brochures, business cards or anything and I figured the only way that I can actually launch this thing is to connect my laptop with the TV screen and I had a big TV screen so all I did, I took it to the conference, put it on the table that the conference people uh, provided us from the hotel and the live website was on the, 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 the TV screen and that is what we did to launch the CPD platform. People when they were coming to our stand and we were on the other corner, we were like everyone else was on the one side, we were put in a corner. When they came to us, all that we did was get them to experience how the platform works right there and there. So I was on the laptop, they were seeing on the screen and I was shifting things, moving things where they can see the actual website. And guess what we did? We got them to sign there and there. And we were doing a free sign up for people that were coming to our stand. And that is how we launched the CPD platform. Another example that you can do is with the book. When people came to the conference, uh, with the first exhibition, I gave them the book. I was selling a book. The book is very simple. Vision Straits Business Guide to Optometric Practices has got 10 chapters. It's a 30 minute read. But all we did, it's, it's not even, it's a flight from Johannesburg to Durban, literally. All we did was put key thoughts into a book. That's all we did. We put key critical thoughts and solutions. It's a quick problem, solution, problem, solution, problem, solution, problem, solution. And that's what we did. You can have a book that you can get people to download. It does not even have to be a physical book like this. You could do an ebook and produce multiple ebooks every single month on iWay. That's what you can do. You can launch so many things on just about anything. You could have a TV screen at a conference with your YouTube channel. And all you're doing on the YouTube channel is showcasing your expertise in a particular subject matter or competency area of your choice. So what, I'm, what am I trying to say? The important thing when you go to a conference and you want to actually partake in exhibitions at conferences, the size of the conferences differ. There are those big conferences where you are now having to pay and spend a lot of money at, but then there's smaller um, seminars, workshops, smaller events uh, that you can be able to spend not as much money as the bigger ones and all that you could have is a banner like this one and have it designed according to your look and feel and it must serve the the component that you want to to have on it that is what is critical the other thing is that 
you could create just about anything and put it on a television screen. You could even have brochures that you could make and your laptop there and your business cards. And people could come to your stand and get the brochure, get the, get the business cards, and you can show them on your laptop. So a lot of the times, people are trying to compare themselves with the big global companies who have been at this thing for a very long time. Start small, but make sure that that which people are going to get is good quality. That which people are going to experience is good quality that you want them to connect with. And so the most important thing that I want to say to you is identify a consumer need. Why should you then go and be at a conference? Why should you then set yourself up like that or have your unique selling point like that? All it does, it's putting you at the forefront of people's attention, pertaining to the subject matter or competency area of your choice. You're distinguishing yourself from any other person in that area. It looks ridiculous in the beginning. Conference number one, conference number two, event number two, event number three, event number four, workshop number five, and so forth. When people, it could be a hundred people at a conference and 20 connect with you and engage you on that. The next time, 20. But between the first conference and the next conference, all of a sudden, you have done more work between the two events. Establishing yourself as a key opinion leader when it comes to Iowa. Guess what's going to happen? Who's at the conference? Suppliers. What do suppliers do? Contact lenses, spectacle uh, frames, uh, spectacle lenses, and so forth. Because of how you position your brand or the manner in which you can position your brand, the opportunities that lie in collaborations between yourself and big business are immense. And that's what you want to get at. Putting yourself in a manner or in a position that can result in you getting the right people's attention. So sometimes it just depends on what your offering is going to be. Because if your offering is frames, your target audience then is frame companies. And you can collaborate with frame companies pertaining to whenever you do your work, you are utilizing their frames. They're benefiting. They pay you for that. So that's what I mean that identify a consumer need. You could be running an optometry practice and asking yourself right now, Obi, how does that tie in with my practice? It's very simple. Your, that activity with regards frames, for example, or contact lenses, that's the activity that you push a lot of on social media. You invest a lot of that on social media. Who is going to connect with that? The consumer. The consumer gets to connect with that. And who's the brand behind that which you are doing on social media? You, the individual. And when they now need those services, it relates back to your optometric practice. You see, there's always a relation between something that may seem random, thinking that it, 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 it's only benefiting you uh, to be towards the industry, but not necessarily. If you are able to become a strong brand or build yourself a strong brand around eyewear selection or around contact lenses or around pediatrics, the existing pediatric leaders, existing low vision leaders, existing different competency leaders are not utilizing social media. They are not going to conferences as exhibitors. They simply go to conferences as speakers. And I'll show you a powerful example of what had happened with us when we had the television when we had the television at the contact lens conference a lot of delegates i mean a lot of speakers were international speakers one of them was nicholas romney who was at the conference and all the exhibitors were going to get five minutes of a product burst and my product burst was launching the cpd uh, into the IK industry and to the uh, uh, professionals and the delegates that were there. In me introducing my product burst as the CPD, 
the manner in which I did it is that I put up the uh, I connected the, la the, the laptop to the presentation screen in the lecture hall and showcased the CPD and I was full of life full of passion and I explained it in five minutes in, a, in the most innovative way possible and I had already linked the social media content on it. Nicholas Romney was in the audience and he saw that and he said, wow, well, this is incredible. The future of IK is brilliant if we've got young leaders who are utilizing technology in the manner that they do. And he tweeted that. And he was one of the first leaders that I was exposed to that was big when it comes to activity on social media. And that went to his network. And because of that, my network then increased, expanded, and a lot of people got to see his tweet. And it established a relation between myself and him. Three months later, I had an opportunity to go to the UK and launch Vigistrate at the UK. Guess who was my reference point? Nicholas Romney. And that resulted in us connecting with various other leaders who were doing the kind of work that we were aspiring to do. And that put us on the global map. Simply because it was a banner, a TV screen, a laptop, simple. But my area of focus was that I wanted to launch an online or CPD distance learning platform, basically. And we did that. So you could be the same person doing it with frames. Right now, who is doing amazing digital work or social media work when it comes to contact lenses in South Africa or in Africa? Who is doing a lot of work when it comes to uh, eyewear styling and so forth in, in optometry on the African continent utilizing digital media. No one. Who's on YouTube running a YouTube channel on visual therapy right now as a, uh, a key expert in that area? No one. So all that you're now doing is you identify a consumer need, then you're discovering the need challenges that might exist. And you positioning your brand either to speak directly to consumers or to speak directly to potential suppliers who can collaborate with you in building your brand and making sure that what they need with what you provide, there can be synergy between the two and together you can make magic. That's basically what you do. Uh, so you then establish potential solutions. So you go to this conference looking at Obi. This is what I was doing. I said, Obi. And I'm thinking about it myself. I'm saying, okay, what type of optometric practice will need these solutions? Right? What type of optometric practice will need these solutions? So I know at the conference, because I know that this is a conference on this, my communication, my unique selling point has to be these components in relation to, if it's at the pediatric conference, pediatric conference. If it's pertaining to uh, contact lenses, in relation to contact lenses. So we speak that. We distinguish the solutions pertaining to the challenges that people that are in that particular competency are dealing with. And that's what we, we're talking to. One of the things that we did was we piloted our solutions with key opinion leaders that did not necessarily need our services. So it was very, very important that whatever that you start doing, piloted it with people that don't need your services. If it's a frame thing that you want to do, if it's teaching people on social media, whatever it is that you want to do within the context of the industry, then get people that don't need your service and pilot it on them. And hear what the honest feedback, reviews, opinions, suggestions, recommendation, and advice is, as well as guidelines pertaining to that which you are trying to do. You use that feedback to perfect your offering and then you get version one into the market and your references then becomes the key opinion leaders whom you worked with to pilot your work. Uh, that could be something that you're doing prior to the conference so that the conference when you exhibit it, it's where it's creating an opportunity for you to introduce version one of your offering, which is what we did. First conference, all we launched was the book business guide to optometrists that was our product but this was our vision
but the product that people could relate with was a book. But where we were going at was this. So the more we kept on focusing on solutions that speak directly to this, the more products and solutions we are able to then get. So every time there's a conference, we're launching version 2, version 3, version 4 of these solutions that we are providing for the optometric industry. And so very, very important that part of you getting version 1 into the market, you have a clear marketing strategy and a plan of action in terms of now that you're going to be launching yourself in the market like that, what are you going to be doing on the different social media platforms? What is your selling strategies? What is your business model pertaining to that which you are introducing yourself in? And how do you tie that back in to your practice? So I've, I get shocked sometimes that in the 12, 13 years that I've been in the industry, I'm still seeing the same experts on the same subjects or competency areas that I was exposed to when I was in varsity. And that there is no emergence of new leaders in those particular areas. But then when I look overseas, I'm, I'm seeing a 25 year old being a contact lens um, person or known for contact lenses simply because of how they are utilizing innovative digital media solutions to put their names out there, to grow their brands. And so conferencing, if you have a clear strategy pertaining to what you want to do at a conference, what product you want to launch, what new ideas you want to introduce into the market, conferences provide you with the perfect platform to do exactly that. So I hope you, you're going to get ready and you've, you've heard what we have had to share, what our experience is, and we're looking forward to the amazing work that you're going to be introducing at the next conference.